So currently out there, Pfizer and Moderna are mRNA vaccines. Can you explain to me what that is? So mRNA is just like DNA. So yep. it's, a, it's, a, it's a set of instru molecular instructions. So that's what actually tells our cells to make new cells and, and to, um, you know, is the basis of life. So in this case, what you're putting into the body is a, a set of programmed instructions, uh, essentially regarded as a piece of DNA that gets inside the cells and reprograms uh, them to, to make, in this case, the spike protein from the virus inside those cells. So it's, it, 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 it's a technology that was developed for gene therapy to put new genes inside people. Um, and it's been repurposed in this case uh, as, as a vaccine platform. So is that normal for a vaccine platform? No, so th this has never been done before. So, so essentially, as I said, the, the original idea of using the mRNA uh, was, was to fix people who had genetic, you know, um, abnormalities, um, so hereditary yep. diseases. And, and so the idea here is, is to reprogram their cells to make the right protein instead of the mutated protein. So there have been very limited, very small studies in the past using mRNA for that purpose in maybe five or ten people with a genetic disease. Uh, it's never been used uh, as a vaccine before uh, this pandemic. Well, like, that's unreal. I... I actually didn't realise that. Um, oh fuck, I've almost fucking lost my words after that. I Are you serious? Yeah, it's deadly serious. So, yes. right. So it's a completely novel experimental technology that's never been used in humans before. So. <laughs> and in, you know, so, basically March last year, they just made it for COVID and said, let's go straight and put it into humans and bypass the animal studies that would normally go on for five or 10 years. And they just made it and said, let's just stick it into people and see what happens. And that's why a lot of people are concerned that, you know, it, it bypassed all of the normal testing that that would be done before you roll out something to you know, any more than a few thousand people, which you would do in a clinical trial. So that's considered an acceptable risk. But normally you wouldn't go beyond that until, you know, you were very confident what this new technology is actually doing. Wow. So 